Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are back with more One Piece. I will be watching episodes 588, 89 and 91. I will be skipping episode 590 since you guys told me that it's a filler episode and it's apparently a crossover episode with Dragon Ball Z which sounds fun but I won't react to it, I will watch it on my own and I will uh, talk about it in, in the next video, I guess so. Yeah, when it comes to current things that are happening uh, on Pan Hazard, it's pretty crazy. My boy Love is demonstrating how powerful he is. His Devil Fruit ability is just so cool. I'm sorry, it's one of the coolest abilities, man. He can create this like space his room right and basically he can switch places with i guess objects you can't get him he can escape easily he has like a very very huge range for his sword attacks and he can like move objects within that space it's such a dope ability as one of my patrons said uh, he's living in a creative mode basically so that's insane and on top of that he has like this ability to like scan and he took all the transporter snails from g5 so that they can't contact navy and world government and he switched bodies that's the most absurd one of the stroke hits we saw that their heart popping out right but not the heart the same as he took out of smoker at the end of the last episode but it looked more cartoonish and like they switched places so Chopper is now Frankie, Frankie is now Nem Nami, Sanji is now Chopper, and Nami is Sanji, which is, which of course it is, man, of course, and <laughs> I'm for sure gonna see some wild moments from uh, Sanji and Nami's body, man. So yeah, the girl, uh, the, the kids were running away, they got scared when they saw that tunnel with the bunch of giants frozen giant prisoners that was quite odd and master was saying he finally uh, got the news that straw heads are coming and he's like mm, straw heads and smoker uh, well they are discovering the secret of this island so this is a good chance to get rid of them so he's pretty confident that he can take both factions by himself that's interesting i wonder how will that play out we will see so yeah, it appears that Love is working with him, he has some sort of deal with him. I'm still not sure what's going on there, but uh, there is 100% something more when it comes to Love, right? Similar to how Blackbeard used his warlord position to, for his own benefit and to propel himself to the title of one of the four emperors right now, which is insane. So, uh, Love is probably plotting something as well. Luffy and the others <laughs> took care of that situation with uh, Brownbeard. They reunited with Prook. They got, I guess, their winter clothes now. So, yeah. Now that the Shigi Smoker and G5 are defeated by Love. Uh, I kind of dubbed, the more I think about it, the more I think that Smoker is not dead, man. There is no way. People can live with, like, just look at that samurai dude. He's only a head, man, and he's, the rest of his body is all over the place and he's still alive. So I think that Smoker will live as well. But we will see. You never know. So without further ado, let's start episode 588. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, that was very wild, man. One Piece is amazing, man, but when it comes to depiction of good chunk of One Piece villains, man, I don't think that anyone is doing it like Oda, man, when it comes to him uh, making us hate the villains. Bro. This Caesar clown fucker... I was already hating him quite a bit for him like treating this like the Vegapunk is the main 
like antagonist that he blew up this laboratory and released that poisonous gas on the island right while in reality it was him and all these people brownbeard and the others do not know that they see him as the savior like he appeared sometime after to save them right and he got rid of that gas right and love is the one who attached animal body parts to them which makes perfect sense but uh, as i said i had seen glow chilling with them but it is what it is we will see how things play out but the fact that we have children that are getting candy every day that is drug and because they didn't get it today they are going through these withdrawal symptoms these are basically kids drug addict right and of course the kids don't even know what they are consuming man they are having fun they love when they eat it right they love their master it's wrong on so many levels and i feel chopper and nami and the others for wanting to help the kids of course man we need to get rid of this scissor clown idiot and uh, get these kids back to their parents I don't know if the kids can return to normal size. I don't know how would that would be possible, right? But the fact that they were normal and that they grew as perhaps the side effect of the drug or perhaps for the reason why he needed these kids for his experiment. Who knows? But either way, it's messed up, as I said, on so many levels. <laughs> the villains are fucking despicable as hell man. as i said it instantly reminds me of body jones and how horrible he was uh, but of course uh, caesar clown is more in the realm with the worst of the worst like celestial dragons and spandam from Enios lobby man though he belongs up with them man. those are fucking the, the waste of air man to put it lightly <laughs> i don't know how else to describe them man but yeah what is wild when it comes to these horrible situations he's creating for us to hate these villains man but yeah love and luffy reunited luffy immediately of course thanked him uh, he told them which way to go and he just left so we are probably going to, I mean, we are 100% going to interact with him again. After all, we need to return the bodies. The gags and the comedic scenes regarding the bodies are hilarious. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's really funny. And Tashigi and Smoker, they're especially weird, man. <laughs> right? Smoker usually doesn't button up his like shirt, right? And, and he's in Tashigi's bodies. Body, he's like, ripping that shit apart man and her boobs are almost completely out man and she's like oh don't please button up the shirt and while Toshigi is blushing and being awkward in smoker's body man it's so odd but i'm so happy that my boy smoker is alive i kind of had a feeling like that's the case and i'm glad i was right about that the samurai dude got his head connected to the legs and he went after his torso right now. So once he gets the torso, he will be complete again. Man. I guess that's how Love's power works, man. Once he separates the body parts, anyone can just attach them again. <coughs> and the samurai had the most unexpected devil fruit ability ever. The ability to create codes that disappear once they take it off, man. <laughs> Kinda neat, man, but... Did Oda just came up with that to give the kids and the other quotes, man? <laughs> That's pretty funny. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. It was very, very good to learn about that incident and that uh, Caesar Clown is the one who did it and that he was former colleague of Vegapunk, right? So they destroyed the life that was on this island and I guess... Aokiji and Akainu didn't destroy the life, right? They chose this island probably because it was pretty much dead, right? So that they don't cause trouble on uh, 
any inhabited island, right? So, okay, that makes that makes a lot of more sense. I will end the video here for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya, guys.